Hello, Crowning Around Crafters. Welcome to another version of Crowning Around and Crafting with Glenda. In today's video, I am going to do a first attempt on making a tutu. The colors that I am using is a light pink or peach. Sorry to say what color that is. Um, a light teal and a gold color. Um, this tutu, if it comes out successfully, will be for my granddaughter's for her second birthday. So, what I'm doing now, I cut all the material into a yard each, and there is four yards for her and then by nine inches. So we'll see what happens with this. I'm gonna go ahead and sew all of these pink or peaches kind of color together and then I'll be back. Right now I'm sewing the casing for the elastic. I'm doing a one inch seam allowance. And I'm following the one so this is the last of the pink or peach color and when I'm done with this one I will put the ribbon on and I'm putting the ribbon on because I already have the color thread that I want in here, so I don't want to have to keep changing it because I want it to match, all the pieces to match. I'm going to make sure at the beginning of each one of your yard panels that you are back stitching. So start by back stitch and end by back stitch. I also have my tension set to three because that's working for me. I don't know what you would have yours set for. And I also have my length at 2.5. It's not um, puckering or anything like that. It actually looks really good. So, yeah. So right now, I sewed them all together and right in the middle, I'm just clipping that thread. And I'll do that all the way through. I actually have enough for two skirts here. One for both granddaughters. One is turning two and the other one is one. So if you see now, I'm just sewing on the ribbon um, for the bottom. And once I finish that, um, I will go on to the next color. working on the teal color and as soon as I am done with that I'll be back. So now that we have all these done we're going to go ahead and take our 17 inches of elastic. We're going to put one safety pin on the end going across. We're going to do another one. Going vertical. I like to roll mine. And then do it. So the edges don't cut anything.
you'll get your wrong side and that's the side with the mesh on it I have it facing towards you and then you'll just pin it all together and you'll go in different sections if that makes sense so you'll do a blue and then a pink and then a brown or maybe not that order but you would do one of each and then just continuously do the pattern and then um, once you're finished with that you may want to take a make a bow so what you'll do is um, whatever way you know how to make a bow go ahead and make it I'll make mine I'm not a good bow maker but it's always okay to try so once I do that I'm just gonna cross this over one way cross this over another way and sti stick string through the middle and then I'm going to adhere it once I'm done I'll show you what it looks like so here is what it looks like there's my little bow it actually came out better than I thought it would and just to let you guys know when you're doing these I went ahead and I fluffed it myself so I made these go back and forth um, to add a little bit more volume to it. If I had to do anything different with this, it would prob probably be to add more um, mesh around it. And that's only because it was it's a very thin mesh and you can actually see through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pair of shorts to go under this, um, but I won't put it on, on this channel. <laughs> um, other than that, yeah, I'm gonna make the shirt. I'll show you what it looks like all together. So bear with me, I'm almost done. So here's the shirt that you wanted to go with it. Um, I went ahead and I used the glitter vinyl and then just sublimated on the glitter vinyl. Here is the back. I don't know if you can see right here where there was a problem with the um, Teflon that I used apparently got some um, sublimation on it and so now it's on the back of the shirt so I'm gonna go ahead and redo the shirt and um, so that it can look nice and new but other than that it actually came out okay so here's the finished product what do you think I think it came out pretty good again like I said if I would have did something different it would have been to add more um, mesh so that actually is a plan that I may do. However, as of right now, this is your finished product.